Hi friends, welcome back. It is now getting well into June. I think today's the 9th maybe when I'm filming this. And I am ready to flip the first half of May. I am not ready to flip the second half of May because it is not done. I have been on holiday for a week at the beginning of June and I brought my book with me, absolutely intended to like fill in my journal, like backfill all of these pages. I was so busy and just having a great time that I did one page. <laughs> I did one page of filling in. I'd got it all like prepared so that like I had everything sort of stuck in that's supposed to be in this little pocket here. Um, I had everything stuck in so that I could just write and I just managed to do just one one page of writing while I was away and the rest of it all the way back to like the 20th I think the 21st is empty as far as the writing so and I've got almost no notes so good luck to me but let's go ahead and have a look at this journal May I'm going to flip for you guys the first half of it and then I will flip the second half when it's filled in so I I, I hope that you enjoy this I'm hoping to try and like really spend a solid day or something just trying to fill in those pages as best I can um so I'm hoping it won't be too far away but let's do it so this is an altered book journal this was a new thing for me I'd never tried like I have had an altered book before however it has not ever been my daily journal like this before so this was a new a new thing for me you guys might know if you've been following along that this year I am trying out doing all different types of journals throughout this year it's it's going to be a real push I think getting into the year further and further trying to come up with new things all the time but I'm excited this was a book obviously and I have altered it to become a journal it is extremely fat I don't know how well you can see that it's so chunky I was surprised at how chunky it ended up um, this beautiful sticker on the front is from Adeline, um, from Adeline's Art. I will have everyone I mention linked below. This gorgeous sticker is from Dolly, who is Gypsy Rose Paper Magic. And then on the back, this one's also from Adeline, and this is a sticker from my Etsy store. So I just plopped a few stickers on it to kind of decorate it up. I added a pretty velvet spine, which I just love. I love it. Um, and... And let's jump in. So first page here, we have, this is a printable from Jess from Love Lorraine Journal's Patreon. Um, it's so cute. And then of course we've got Justin. It's going to be May um, on there. And I just, this page was a page in the book and I just smeared a bit of pink paint on it. Um, and then stuck those two things down as kind of just sort of a title page, I guess. I sort of thought I might end up adding to as I went but I kind of just put those things down at the beginning and that's where it stayed here is the first of May and I'm so excited to jump in on this this page was really a fun one to make I tried out something kind of different um by sectioning off my page I don't know how easy it will be for you guys to kind of get a visual on this but I sectioned off my page in this way where I've got like these little like dotted lines everywhere that kind of section off different thoughts. So um, this says I'm having some really weird and annoying pain in my right hand today. This section here is talking about going on my, playing on my jelly plate. This was about finishing off watching the last, se the latest season of Bob's Burgers. And um, this little bit in here is talking about uh, my husband James started trying to grow some basil microgreens today. This was some of the packaging from that. Um, so there's just everything's in like a little section and that was quite fun to try out and just to see how it went um Alison from AJ's Inspired Life she was she's kind of doing this oh it's so fun I'm really loving it um a challenge where you get she announces the item of the month and then on in your journaling every day for the month you need to try and include that somehow and I'm really enjoying myself this month here it was punches so you can see I punched out these stars out of this little pocket and I just sort of glued them around um but you'll see that all throughout the book have had such a blast with that here is a little painty tag that I made I've got nothing written on it I just really liked it I end up my I might end up pulling it out of here and using it elsewhere but I've got it in here for now these are some dresses that I'd listed for sale on like a Facebook marketplace thing that didn't fit me anymore uh and that yeah that's that's the first over here, the second, I bought this new game for my Switch. It was called Tangle Tower, and it was very cute. 
Um, so I bought that this day and I it didn't take me very long to finish it. It wasn't a very big game, but it was fun and very sweet to play. Um, this is a photo of myself holding up my journal. This was something I had made for Patreon mail um, for April, I think. And this was like a leftover one that didn't get finished entirely. Uh, I, I don't know how it didn't get finished. It just didn't. But I noticed that it was a number two and it was the second. So I used that as my little um, dating number thing. Um, here's my little punch. I have this little punched out heart. It's very, very simple. I do not have very many punches. So this was a real challenge for me. Um, but I just punched out a little heart and put it with my cat there. This is a photo of myself again. A photo of uh, me sitting on my bed with my cup of tea and a cookie and my five-year journal and my big proper April journal, filling it in, in bed, cozied up. Um, anything else here? This was the day that um, Ellie Edwards' One Little Word, have I got them written on my list? No, I should find, I'll write that down. Uh, I have, this is my second time filming this flip through, just so you know, second time. Um, and I had already written down notes of who I was, who I'd mentioned for my first attempt at this. So, I'm just adding that one to my list. So Ellie Edwards' One Little Word prompt came out for the month and it was su about surprise and delight. So I've stamped that down the bottom. This is a Instagram account that I follow, which I absolutely love. Her name's Carrie and her handle is Blooming With Care. I will have her linked as well. Um, she's not a, like, she doesn't share journaling and things like that. She is somebody who shares about uh, life after life after infertility without a child and after loss without a child and that has been really special to watch for me so I yeah I had just I take screenshots often of her great Instagram posts and I just printed one out there and it says creating an identity outside of becoming a parent helps me realize that I am more than merely my fertility journey I think this is important for anyone to recognize at any stage of their life. Mothers, retirees, designers, students, basically anyone doing anything. We are multifaceted humans with many things going for us. If we never step out of our comfort zone, we will never see all the greatness we already encompass within ourselves. And I really liked it. So I wanted to include that there. She has some really great insightful thoughts that I enjoy. Oh, it says here that James offered to cook tea tonight and we had bratwursts with wedges and cheese curds. So yummy. Um, yeah, oh, I was taking photos of the blossoms on the tree. We have this flowering cherry tree. Like, it doesn't even have cherries. It's just a flowering one. And, um, like, a cherry blossom tree at our house. And it blooms in the springtime, and it's beautiful. And every year, it does another bloom in the autumn. And we don't know why, but it's full of blossoms. So I've been photographing it this day. Over here, I loved this. I loved that this was the page in the book already. It had these geese on it, and I really liked that that just got included in here. Um, I was having a chat with a bunch of some friends of mine in like a girls group chat thing about if we ask people who think more about the present, the past, or the future, like if that's where we mostly dwell, and that was quite an interesting chat. So I wrote about that. Uh, I filmed some YouTube videos, I did some journaling, I really will need to keep current because I do not like back journaling. Well, poo, I've done it to myself again. I had a nap in the afternoon because I was feeling quite grumpy and tired, um, so I took a nap, but unfortunately my husband came home after about 10 minutes of me lying down, so I did not get a very decent nap and I was still a bit grumpy. I made a chicken ginger satay for dinner and then we... Uh, watch some. We watched an episode of Kim's Convenience. We were watching, finishing off watching that this month, um, and then I went up to my mum's house, and we were working on a little project for Freya's birthday there. Over the page, this is a beautiful piece of mail from Jess from Love Rain Journals, and this is not put back in the envelope properly. I'll just show you it because when I was filming this last time, I couldn't get it back to go back in nicely while I was filming. So let's see if it just magically works out for me this time oh look it has so that was the beautiful happy mail uh patreon mail that she had sent me um so i've just got that tipped in here um james and i oh we had such a busy day this day it was a saturday i remember that and well maybe a sunday it was a weekend anyway and um, James and I were playing with our cat on the lawn. She was like chasing, James was running around with this piece of rope and she was like chasing it around and it was so cute. 
um we started working on this shelf that we were making for Freya's birthday so it was like this really gross old um like toy shop kind of shelf it was wooden so it had like you know it was nice a nice wooden one but it um had like random ugly it was these stickers all over about engines and stuff like that um and this black tape that was all peeling up and it looked quite grotty and dirty so James and I took on this project and we sanded it all back and repainted it all and then I kind of painted these like cute strawberries and flowers all on it but it took days it took days of work but this was the beginning of that project and I managed to peel off the stickers and get them in my journal which was pretty fun um and then I sold one of my dresses and I had to go and drop that off to the person who had bought it um then we decided like really spontaneously to go out for dinner which was really fun so we um I'm saying um a lot because I'm just I need a sip of coffee I'm, I'm all over the show this morning let's just have a coffee for a minute oh that was a bit hot um my sister had given James for his birthday in April a voucher to go out for dinner at a local restaurant. It's about half an hour away. We live in the middle of nowhere, so half an hour away is very local to us. Um, and we got this, because we had had the voucher, we were like, okay, we're going to splurge because the voucher was like, it was $100, so it was a really good voucher. And so we would not normally spend very much money. Well, you know, a little bit, but we try and be sort of reasonable. But this time we were like, let's go for it. So we bought mock uh, sorry, cocktails first and we had five like tapas plates and it was so fun. We had the best time. I had this little card that said gourmet. It was in my capsule. So this was the perfect time to use it. And it was about an expert in eating or drinking, which we were being total experts in eating or drinking this night. We had all of this delicious food. So the food we had was these pork belly bites, some bell buns, patatas bravas, jalapeno croquettes, and mushroom arancini balls, which were so yummy. Um, and then we had cocktails. James had a Bloody Mary, and I had a white Russian. And it was just really fun. We just had a really nice time out. I also got some mail that from something I'd ordered on Trade Me, which is a, if you're not from New Zealand, you won't know what Trade Me is. It's a, like, an auction site for New, Zeal New Zealanders. Um, and it had arrived this day, and she had made this little tiny card that went in it. And these are all the stamps, which are, like, kind of vintage stamps. These are not current stamps in New Zealand. But these were the ones she'd used to post it. And so I cut them out and included them on here. The fifth. The fifth is Bereaved Mother's Day. It's it's the first Sunday in May is Bereaved Mother's Day. And as a lot of you guys may know, I am a bereaved mother. Um, and most of you guys will know that, almost everyone, if unless you're new. If you are new here, I lost my three children um, at, when they were born. They were all born at different, you know, varying times throughout throughout pregnancy. Uh, all three of them were born during the second trimester um, and then passed away. And so that's that's my story as bereaved mother. And so my sweet husband, he got me this lovely little gift basket with all of these delicious snacks and some blueberry cider and a massage voucher and all sorts of things. He's so sweet to have thought of me. Um, and he's he spoiled me with that. And I was up, oh, I was up super early. I thought I was up super early. I mean, it was still early for me. I'm a sleep in kind of girl. Um, but I woke up and it was super dark and I, I was just so sure that it was like three in the morning and I couldn't go back to sleep. And eventually I was like, I'm just going to check what time it is. And it was 6.15. So I was like, oh, okay, I can just get up now. So I just got up, uh, had coffee and then went and played in my craft room for a few hours, which was really fun. And this was working on the little shelf. Again, for my punches, I don't know if I found, where was the punch? Oh, I rounded the corners on this was what I did for punching. I had a corner rounder punch. I think that was what the punch was for this day. For this day, I had swatched out the colours of paint I was using to paint these like little mural things on the shelf for my niece Freya. I'd sort of swatched them and I got out my circle punch and I just made like a little colour palette of what I was working with here, which was really fun. I remember we had delicious special hot chocolates that evening James had got this mug it's one of those mugs that are all black and then when you heat it up you know you pour the hot water into the mug it changes and you can see the picture it's of Demon Slayer it's a anime that he really likes um and he hadn't used the mug before so we made like special hot chocolates and had them and he used his mug and that was really fun um we watched an episode of What I Lie to You in Bed which was also very fun 
yeah I mean I was watching I was watching the new season of the circle this day while I was painting it took me all day this painting and it kept going honestly I spent days painting this for my niece it was very fun but it was very a very intense process this day I remember now this day I had these two, my neighbours, who are my aunt and uncle, their, their farm kind of circles around our property. And their cows just were in my lawn, on my lawn all day. And I kept having to chase them out and chase them out and chase them out. And there was two of them. And I had this picture of these cows busting through a fence to steal grass. And I thought this is perfect to document my day. So I kept chasing them out and I ended up having to round them up into some yards down the road. That The yards belonged to my aunt and uncle, so it kind of was fine. Um... But it was very annoying having them on my lawn. They just pooped everywhere and make everything a mess. Um, what else did I have? I didn't have anything too special to say today. This little swatch thing here is from me setting up my setting up my page in my Hobonichi weeks. I will always have like a little color palette. Let's see, the 6th of May. Sorry about the sticking plaster on my thumb, by the way. It's very unattractive. I am aware, and but there's not much I can do about it. This was it here. Uh, so I was choosing out which markers I wanted to use for my little, what are they called? Tracker. Tracker. It's literally written there. Um, but these were me swatching out colours to, to decide what I wanted. And then I ended up just sticking it in because it was kind of cute. Um, this was also prompt week. And I the prompt for this day was who is inspiring you recently, um, creatively or otherwise. And I wrote on this little card here about my sister Harriet. She's my youngest sister and she is someone who is really passionate about things and that's something I so admire. Um, I think that it's really easy to not talk about your passions because you can come across as like intense or weird or something. Um, I don't find Harriet intense or weird but I know that I often will pull back on sharing my passions a certain amount because I don't want people to be uninterested or you know whatever but I think that the most interesting people are the people who talk about their passions it's just one of the best things in the world is listening to someone who's really passionate talk about something that they love what could be better than that so I was writing about my sister and her passion she is passionate about horses um, and about her dog and about her job as a nurse and things like that. She's just someone who I find is really, and she gets really passionate about TV or movies or books she loves and she'll just share all about it and I just love it. So I wanted to really honor that in her and document about that. Over the page, this was a fun day. This was a day we went, I have written here, slow start to the day, did some filming and then my sister Kate called and she said she was going for a beach, a beach walk with mum and her kids. So I decided to come along too. She had some, a meal that a friend of ours had made. Um, she'd made me a meal and she'd given it to Kate, my sister, to give to me when she'd seen her. Um, and it was in this really beautiful bag with these poppies on it. But it had been in the freezer and it had all busted the sides of the bag. And it was all kind of tatty and wrapped and had all, the bottom of the bag was all kind of wet. Um, so I couldn't reuse the bag as a bag, which I wasn't too sad about because it meant I got this beautiful poppy image in my journal as like this beautiful tip in, which was just gorgeous. And so that was lovely. When we were on the beach walking, Freya, my niece, who is three, she was two, nearly three at the time. Her birthday was on the 10th. So almost three, um, was with my mum and they had sort of run ahead and my sister Kate and I and her baby Hazel, um, were walking kind of slower and up ahead mum and Freya had drawn these hearts on the beach and these three hearts and then inside my mum had written Hazel inside one, Lid, which is me, inside the other one and then Freya had done a big M for mum, for my sister Kate obviously is her mum, um, in one of them and then they had run up, they'd run away and they were giggling and running away leaving these cute little love notes written for us on the beach and I could, we could hear them giggling saying I wonder if they'll see them, I wonder if they'll notice them. It was so cute so I had to take a photo of that and stick it in there. These are my little hearts that I used as my punch for the day. Um, did I, did I see a punch? Oh I punched out a semicircle there, that was as good as it got sometimes. Um, over here I made this pocket, um, I think I made that as a Patreon video maybe working on these pockets, um, and the prompt was in here. What did you wear today? I wrote that I wore this blue sweater with a neon red star on it, I had black leggings, black socks, and my long black puffer jacket and black walking shoes, and then 
my fan towel pajama pants and my black thermal as my pajamas um for that evening um also we finished a box of matches this day we have 44 billion boxes of matches in our house and um i like keeping the boxes like this one was literally made out of wood the box was wooden um and yeah I, I when we finish it i put the little cute vintage matchbook or box into my journal and that was one that we had just finished up so i tucked it in there this is my husband and there's a little fan tail stamp there um Oh, that's right. This was so fun. Freya was going up to my mum's house after our beach walk and I was in the car too because I live up the same hill as my mum and Freya and her family live down in the valley and so mum was dropping, going to drop me off because she goes past my house to get to her house and Freya was in the back seat and she just thought she was being so funny and she kept making these jokes and then she would go oh me oh me every time she thought she was hilarious and it was just cracking my mum and me up she's so funny um my sister Kate gave me a little lavender plant and a little lemon balm plant which is so nice for my little herb garden I oh I was watching Belinda from Visualized NZ her haul video this day and she had found this notepad from the place that my husband works so that was really cool I thought that was amazing I was so jealous um we had the food that my friend had made for us for dinner which was a nice shepherd's pie and an apple cobbler and we were watching Kim's Convenience over here oh have I yes I have written down Laurel that's good oh I also wanted to mention this tag in here I am loved this was from a Conzi from a top Serenity Hill one of her live art workshops which are so fun I think she has one coming up in July so please go and check her out if you would like to join um she does like a live zoom call and she kind of runs through like an art workshop lesson and you follow along and this was what we did um in April I think and I really enjoyed myself so I was using up some of my tags that I'd made um and so go and check out Conzi she'll also be linked that's that day here the 8th I was doing a little bit of embroidery in bed that night. I had this hot chocolate that, the, that Laurel had sent me. Now, Laurel, she was the one who made my April journal, if you saw that. And at the time, I had nowhere to link her because she didn't have any kind of social media account. She has recently got an Instagram account, and I've got to recommend it. So she will be linked. Go and follow Laurel. She's very new to Instagram. Please go and check her out. She is just such a talented creative truly she is so she will be linked please go and have a look at her account um got some printables in from emily jean she'll also be linked below and i had this little chocolate today this was a cute photo my sister sent me of freya and hazel sitting in this big bag full of autumn leaves together so cute uh my husband is hilarious he said he told me i can't even scratch my own back because i am so swole because of his muscles um and it just made me laugh and i had to write it in there there's some more little hearts punched out that's my punch for this month and then this spoon if you were wondering what this is about this was because this was actually my prompt for the day document a really mundane experience from today with as much detail as you can let me read it out to you Tonight when I was cooking dinner, I put a spoonful of garlic in the pan and as I put the spoon back on the bench, it slipped off towards the floor. I grabbed to try and catch it and in my haste, I totally missed it and smacked my hand very hard against the bench. My pointer finger on my left hand is now so sore and bruised and I am struggling to lift the pot with my left hand. It is so sore. It was awful. It was really bad. I, When I went to like grab to try and get the spoon that was falling, I smacked across here Um really hard on the bench and it was super bruised and like I was struggling to like hold things that were heavy in this hand because it was so sore it was just one of those silly things that you do you know but whatever silly thing but I wanted to document it because it was something interesting that happened in my day that doesn't happen in my day all the time and I had this great spoon illustration over here this is my visualized nz tag tag visual virtual what is it called? The tag swap. Virtual tag swap. That's what I'm looking for. Virtual tag swap. So she, Belinda, she is Belinda, um, runs a group over on Facebook and you can sign up for a partner or multiple if you want and they give you a prompt and then Belinda will give everyone a prompt to use and then you have to try and make a tag 
that fits that. So my prompt, well, the prompt that Belinda gave everyone was happy. And then the person who gave me my prompt gave me flowers. So I just embroidered these little flowers the night before. And so I thought they looked really cute on here. I had a lot of purple things to go on this page. So it all just sort of worked out. Um, but I really liked how that looked. I thought it was a super cute tag. So yeah, it was Belinda said happy and Cal, she said flowers. So those were my prompts. And I love how it turned out. I think it looks so cute. Um, my sister, whenever she buys things for her kids and then like there are cute things that come with it that she doesn't really need. They're just cute additional things. She always gives them to me. She's very good at knowing what things I'm going to like. She was given these little cards with these cute little like creatures on them. Who is the illustrator here? I'm not even sure. Um, but they were so cute. And she was like, I don't want these. They just came free with an order. And I, she was like, but you might want them for your journal. And I absolutely do. They're adorable. Look at these cute little characters. Um, this day I went and visited with my Nana. She lives in the North Island. I live in the South Island. So I don't see her all that, mm, that often. But she was visiting because the next day after this was Freya's birthday. And she always comes down to for Freya's birthday party. Um... So I was, my Nana was there and she had brought all of these really cool old photos, like old family photos from like her parents and her grandparents and things like that. And like a bunch of their like old documents and things as well, which was so cool because I know a lot more about my mum's family than I do about my dad's side. And so Nana is my dad's mum. And so it was really, really lovely to like kind of look through all these photos. I hadn't really seen many photos of them. It was just so interesting. So um, this was one I took a little photo of it. This is my great granddad, my great grandmother, and my great grandmother's father. So my great great grandfather. Um, and if you are interested in knowing, my my great grandfather's name was Francis George Wilfred. And then my great grandmother was Margaret Annie. And then this is Patrick, who is my great great grandfather. And I didn't know his name was Patrick. Honestly, I knew I knew their names were Francis and my great-grandparents names were Francis and Margaret but I didn't know their middle names so even that was cool um yeah it was just a fun it was fun to see that here was our prompt make a prediction about next week my prediction was I'm gonna get behind in my journal and oh boy was I right I was so right um my punches I'd used I'd got this sticker it's like this holographic sticker that I thought was perfect for making a prediction um and like around the edge of it, they still had heaps more of the sticker paper and the holographic silver. So I just punched out a bunch of those stars and sort of scattered them across here. And I like it. I had pottery class that night and I had brought a few things home that had been glazed and things. So that was really fun. I had a lovely, lovely mail sent to me by a friend of mine from church. Um... She had made me this beautiful pillowcase. It's so stunning. It's all patchworked on one side. And then on the back, um, she had embroidered this beautiful thing that said the Woods family. Lydia and James and then Wadu, Elsie and Skylar. Those are my three children. Um, and just getting to see their names written down means so much to me. Because obviously I don't have my, my little babies in my life. So it's just really special to have someone acknowledge and remember them that's not just me and um to see their names is something that means just so much to me so i photocopied the back of the pillowcase <laughs> to add it to my journal because it is a treasure um and then this was the little card that she sent me um this she was sending me these things for mother's day and she sent me a nice block of chocolate too so this is a photo of freya i saw her this day and this was her last day as a two-year-old oh my goodness She's three now, and I wanted, when she was about to leave, I said, stop, I've got to take a photo of you. It's your last day as a two-year-old. So I took a little photo of her there, and I love it. Over here is my Freya's birthday. Couldn't even believe that she had turned three. This is how the shelf turned out. So this was the before and the after on painting the shelf. Um, what are you most proud of from today? This day, I had quite a bad day in the morning. Her Freya's birthday party wasn't until the evening. Um, but I'd had quite a bad morning emotionally, grieving. Um, our, our, out of our three children, our daughter, um, um, we had one of our daughters, bought, were bought, my words, was born and passed away in December. So I'm still quite freshly grieving, um, losing her. She lived for a couple of hours before she passed away. And I, it's still very fresh. And I was having a hard time here because a friend of mine, um, had actually had her baby the day before, the day before this, but I had only heard about it today. And 
all of that just sort of brought up a lot of emotion for me because we were supposed to be having our babies at around the same time and I don't know it just threw it threw me for a loop a little bit this day um but I was very proud of myself for getting out my big camera I got my big camera out and I went and photographed my cat I looked down the lawn and at the bottom of our section we have quite a large section we live in the middle of nowhere we have this big enormous spectacular walnut tree and she was on a fence post under the walnut walnut tree and she looked so sweet down there so I went down and took photos of her um, then in the evening we had Freya's birthday party and Freya had decorated the cake herself basically um, my sister Harriet is a very talented cake decorator she's incredible um, and she was kind of going to do it and then she Freya wanted to help and then Freya just sort of took over and she was like nah I've got this Aunt Harry I can do it and she did an amazing job she literally it was her third birthday and she was piping these beautiful flowers on the top of her cake it was amazing. She did such a good job of it. Um, yeah, so this is her with her cake that she decorated. And then this is her with the most enormous slice of cake and my sister Kate, which is her mum. And this little thing was part of the capsule for this month too. And it said frozen moment. And I thought this was perfect to document the fact that this morning was Christchurch. So Christchurch is about an hour and a bit away from me. It's my closest city. Um, but that's where they kind of do a lot of the recording of temperatures. But it was probably a very similar, if not the same, temperature for us. But this morning was Christchurch's coldest May temperature ever recorded, which was 6.7 degrees, minus, sorry, minus 6.7 degrees Celsius at 5.20 in the morning. So you've got to remember, this is only autumn. So to be getting down into like well minus, like well below freezing um, is cold for us. We're not, like this area is not that cold normally. Over the page, over the page. This day was a very fun day too. I was sitting down to have my breakfast in the morning and I look out my window and lo and behold, my sister Harriet's dog has arrived at my house. He has never once just walked himself to my house without anybody taking him before. He's been here before with like my mum or my sister. He's never just walked himself to my house. So it was weird. He was just standing at my door looking in like my, my front door has like a glass, some glass panels on it and he was just like looking in and waiting and then I walked to the door and opened the door and he just let himself right in let himself into my house the cheek of him uh and then he walked into our bedroom where James was still in bed and just sort of whined at the bed and James moved his legs a bit and he hopped up into the bed with my husband <laughs> which was so funny um so I took a photo of that and then we were going to drive him back around to my mum's my mum and my sister and my my mum and dad live about two minutes away and my sister who owns this dog lives with them so we drove him up there Harriet was not home my sister because she was getting a big shipping container put into her horse paddock um to store all of her horse gear and hay and things which was super exciting for her and I wanted to write celebrate up there because that is something that should be celebrated what a cool addition to her horse life I just think that's amazing so my husband was up there and he took these photos of my dad and my sister sitting on top of it which I thought were really cute um over here this was the day we ate some of our mushrooms we've been growing oyster mushrooms um and this was the day we harvested them and ate them for dinner yummo this was also the night that we had the aurora the southern lights show up which I have never once seen in my life they're never here my parents both said they've never seen them in their lives it was so incredible. So this was a bad photo, but it was, you know, all I got really. But I wanted to include it in here because what an incredible, a miracle thing to witness. Like, it was just beautiful. Um, I made, I played some more of my game tonight. I, I got it all finished. This was some things about Enneagram on here. I had this big pocket, and so I added these photos of my husband and my cat's left eye. <laughs> which is weird, um, and then I finished off my journaling, I didn't have much more to say, but the pocket was so big, so this big card went in it, and that's fine, over here, we're going to get to halfway, so halfway is about, what day is halfway, I'm trying to figure out where I am here, this was, do I have a date on it, well this is the 10th, so this is the 11th, the 12th, this was Mother's Day, we were in the city this day, we went to church, um, my all my family were in the city this day we all live in the country but we had all gone to the city so we stopped we all met up with each other and had lunch together at a restaurant to celebrate mother's day this is freya she was doing a trick that she truly felt very you could tell she felt very cool when she was doing this trick 
um, she sort of had her head to the side, as you can see, one eye closed. She was blowing bubbles into her drink and then patting on the straw all at once. And you could tell that she thought she was pretty cool being able to head to the side, one eye shut, blowing bubbles and tapping the straw all at once. You could just tell that she felt like she looked good doing that. <laughs> and it was hilarious for me. It was so cute. I love kids. I love being around kids. They're just, they're just beautiful. Um, so that was her doing that. And then this was my mum and her up on this balcony looking down at where we had been having lunch. She wanted to go and stand on the balcony. She thought she was very cool up there. Um, I had some really lovely conversations with people at church that were very meaningful to me. So I wrote about those. Uh, we went out and we bought groceries. Um, oh, that's right. Every When we were out, we had our lunch. Like We were at a restaurant, but we were kind of like in the outside area at the restaurant. And every time any kind of bus went past us, Freya would just yell out, School bus! She's just obsessed with the idea of school buses. Uh, we live, again, in the middle of nowhere. There are no buses where we live. So when she's in the city and she sees a bus, she's like just enthralled. You know, it's it's the biggest thing for her. So she was just getting super excited about school buses. Uh, did our groceries. James and I stopped and had this Egyptian servalaki for dinner, which was fun. And we were talking to the owner and he was just really enjoyable to talk to. Um, and then I got home and had a shortbread cookie and a crunchy bar with my cup of tea. These are my punches. I haven't, I don't think I've mentioned them on every page, but I did include punches on every page. So that's cool. Thirteenth. This day was kind of, I didn't have much to say. This page is a wee bit boring, but I still like it. It's still perfectly good. But this was something I'd been working on for Emily Jean. I am a part of her creative team with for her, um, her printables that she does with Illustrated Faith. Um, and this was a journal card that I had made and I really liked how it turned out. I think it looks cute. I had been working on this bunting piece for a friend of mine from church. Uh, her and her family were moving away to Australia and so our church was putting together these like buntings out of paper. This was the paper I'd used for my one and um, yeah, this was a special photo that I stuck on the bunting uh, of her and I when we were very young. I was 17 and she was 16. We used to live together back then. Um, I boarded with her family when I moved to the North Island for a bit um, back in 2010. So... Uh, this was us when we were young teens and I just I included that on there and I enjoyed that. Um, I wrote a letter to a friend this day and yeah just just writing. Oh we finished Kim's Convenience this night and we were very disappointed in the ending. This day my husband surprised me this morning by offering to make me my poached eggs on toast in bed which was lovely. So I had this little piece that had been sent in some happy mail that said egg so I included that on there. We had a games night this night, which is why there's this big card here. Um, this beautiful, beautiful postcard from Jen Hall. Um, she's Painty Hands Art. She had sent me this beautiful postcard, which I included. Um, we started watching Sweet Tooth Season 2 this day. We had yummy dinner of pump, like mashed pumpkin with feta and bacon and pumpkin seeds and spinach and onions and mushrooms. I love that kind of a dinner. So delish. Um, we went up to my parents' house where my sister is also, like I said before, living there. We watched some TV with them and then we played Pandemic Rising Tide, which is a, um, a board game, which was really fun. It took us ages to figure out how to play it. it took us like 45 minutes to like get it set up. My dad had had a bath and then my mum had had a bath and they'd both finished and come out and we still hadn't started playing. Um, so that was ridiculous. It took us a long time, but once we got into it, it was really, it was a good game. It's a cooperative game so it means that basically all the players play on the same team and then you're versing the game you've got to try and beat the game I really like cooperative games they're very fun so had that there and then mum had made us some rice pudding for like a mid a midway game point which was very yummy so that was that day we will do this day and then we'll stop, I think, because this is about halfway. I ate this chocolate this day, which was yum. My sweet Frey, she went on her little horse riding adventure. This was her birthday present from her parents, which was that she got to go on this little, like, horse riding lesson thing, which was so cute. This is her on a little pony called Pebbles. So cute. Um, James made me breakfast in bed again. I was filming some of the her book video, a her book video for YouTube. Um... He was working at the campground, which is down the road from us. 
I was having quite a hard day emotionally this day. Actually, a lot of the first half of this month, actually most of this month, I had quite a bad time with the old emotions and the grief. Um, not so great. I was working on Patreon mail, the jelly plate papers. So this was a jelly plate print that I'd made that I saved for myself. Um, and then I had made a bunch to send out in Patreon mail. So patrons getting the May mail will be receiving that. Um, a book I had ordered arrived this day. I didn't read it though. I decided to save it, but I it did arrive. I was watching MasterChef, which is super fun. Uh, the mail tier closed. So also, if you guys are interested in the June happy mail, you will need to get on that very quickly because the mail tier will shut on the 15th. I don't know what day this is going up, but on the 15th of this month, it'll shut. And you, if you sign up after that, you'll get the July mail. But if you sign up before that, you'll get the June mail. So be aware. Um, but yeah, I was making a bunch of painty papers, we had beef and broccoli stir fry for tea, we watched some Sweet Tooth, uh, I was playing my Switch this day, I was working on my game there, and then yeah, Katie sent through photos of Frey on this little pony ride which she had today, and then this was my cup from my cup of tea, but that is it, this is where we're going to get to next, I love how this page looks, I think it's so pretty, so be ready. For the next video which will have this but I've got to get in here and get some of all of this written down before we go there so that is halfway through May so we have done the first half and then the second half should hopefully be coming soon when I've got the writing done let's see if I can do it this hopefully will encourage me to get going on the writing now that I've put this half out because I need to get the second half filmed to share with you guys I hope you're all doing really well. I hope you enjoyed seeing the flip through of the first half of May. I just love my journals so much. I love them. Um, yeah. Can't wait to be in June. I mean, it is in June. It's the 9th of June as I'm filming this. And I've not even begun June because I was away on holiday. So that's going to be a big effort for me very soon as well. Is to get back journaling all of the first nine days of June. Oh my gosh. I've got a lot of back journaling to do. But we'll get there. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I'll see you again really soon. Bye, friends.